1 Kings 8 54-57 God talks to all people. And it came to pass, when Solomon had made an end of this prayer and supplication unto the Lord, when he was on his knees, and with his hands stretched out toward the heavens, he arose from before the altar of the Lord. And he arose, and blessed the whole congregation of Israel with a loud voice, saying, Blessed be Jehovah, who has given rest to his people Israel according to all that he has spoken. Not one word fell from all his good words which he spake by the ministry of Moses his servant. The Lord our God be with us, as it was with our fathers. Do not forsake us, and leave us not. 1 Kings 8 54-57 Dear brothers, it is a great pleasure to return to study the word of God in the presence of the Creator of heaven and earth in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the presence of the Holy Spirit. God has spoken to his people since the foundation of the world, when he created Adam and Eve, God spoke face to face with Adam and Eve. With the fall of men, it was no longer possible to speak face to face with God. For many years, God spoke to his people through the prophets. In the end, God sent his son to speak to all of his time about the kingdom of God. Today, God speaks to anyone, regardless of race, color social position, intellectual, or financial possessions. God imposes no barriers, no restrictions on any person. Everyone has access to God. Anyone can talk to God, anytime he wants, and anytime he needs. However, there is a more viable way to hear God's voice, and to return to God, which is through the Holy Spirit. The function of the Holy Spirit I as to exactly interact between God and a human being. Because? Because the Holy Spirit was a promise made by the Lord Jesus Christ. That he would go to heaven and not leave us orphans, he would send us. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, that would guide us into all truth. In today's study, we will see here in 1 Kings, chapter 8 verses 54 to 57. Where King Solomon was praying to God, and commented in his prayer on the importance of this communication with Creator of heaven and earth. The commitment that God has with his words that he addresses us. Solomon stood on his knees, and with his hands stretched out to the sky, began to speak. In verse 56 he reads, Blessed be the Lord, our God, who gave rest to his people, as any what he said, no word had on the floor, of all the word that God spilled through the prophet Moses. See, brethren, what an important thing. Solomon was a witness of how God watches over his people, and as he has a commitment to the words he speaks to us, he had very great respect for those he directs his words. The expression that Solomon used, no word went out of his mouth, he felt, or be, no word that God speak to his people, he was not fulfilled, all the words that God said, were fulfilled. This text gives security to those who seek to hear the words of God, and, the revelations that God gives us through the Holy Spirit. We at www.libertasplomerdecristo.com.br, we are witnesses that, when God speaks, He fulfills. And when we put our trust in His words, we can rest easy, He will fulfill everything what He says. So dear friends, and dear brethren, we are encouraging you to pray to speak to God, just as King Solomon prayed, and spoke to God and found that no word of God fell to the ground. But all were fulfilled. Then we are sure that when we hear the words of God, everything will be confirmed. And we can guide them to speak with God in prayer, and to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, and trust in His words. Amen. Glory to God.